Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Friday. The only reason I know it's Friday, wow, I was gonna say by how pasty white I look, I need to go tanning, um, is because I actually have no meeting scheduled today, so I know I can catch up, and um, I also have, uh, I need my lip balm. This is something, you guys are gonna laugh, I have been using Bonnie Bell Lip Smacker. Is that what this is? I think it is. Bonnie Bell. So right now this is the flavor. <laughs> Root beer. I have these all over my house. And I remember like it was a big thing. I don't even know when. You know, like when I was in high school and they said, you know that they've made it so that if you start using this on your lips, that your lips become addicted to it. It's like, no, my lips are just dry and need moisturizer on it. And if I'm not wearing any makeup, why would I put lipstick on? So I have all kinds of flavors of this. I was a little upset though, because I went to Walgreens. I also have always had my nieces that love, that's what they call like playing in my lipstick. So I'd always get them, you know, like bubblegum flavor or Dr. Pepper. Um, but when I was growing up, way back in the, you know, days when VHS tapes were a big deal. I'm old people, very old. Um, but when I was growing up, uh, sorry, I got a new bird feeder, so I'm waiting to see if the birds are out there. I'm a nerd that likes to watch the birds. It's peaceful. Um, but when I was like in fifth grade, maybe, maybe it was even third grade, the big, that, that's when they made the um, Bonnie Bell Love Smackers that were like this big. I think they still make them occasionally, you'll find them. But <laughs> the cool thing to do back then was you'd put so much on, because that's when like those really goopy glosses, lip glosses came out. And so I just remember being in fifth grade and I'd take this you know, it was peppermint or cherry or watermelon, and it'd be like, like you'd be putting it on that long, as if you thought your lips would look <laughs> more glossy. When you're in fifth grade, the only goal that you have in mind is to try to look as old as possible. Like you're trying to wear high heels, you're trying to um, put makeup on, you're trying to do everything. And so, you know, if you have, if you're given an inch, you take a mile. I need to get my hair trimmed. Um, anyway, so I needed to put my lip gloss on. And uh, yes, so I keep one in the car, I keep one there, and um, keeps me happy. I am now drinking. Here's what I did. So this is my latest uh, version of coffee. And I'm gonna tell you guys this. The number one question I'm getting lately is, you know, oh my God, and even Amy, Amy's going paleo right now, and she was like, you know, gosh, Kelly, if you can do black coffee, I can. And it really is, it's a departure for those of us that like coffee with stuff in it. Like if you're used to drinking coffee your whole life with cream and sugar, to some degree, your own version of cream and sugar in it, right? If you're used to that, whether it's Splenda and all the fat-free creamer, like I was, or sugar-free creamer, whatever, or if it's regular cream and sugar-free syrup or sweetener or whatever, some people use sweet and low, whatever it is that you're used to, if you go to that, to black coffee, it's like two different worlds, okay? It's like, I don't even know what to, I don't even know what to liken it to. It's like going and having a pizza with everything on it and then getting a thin crust pizza with just cheese sprinkled on it. And you'd probably be like, anyway. Uh, my latest version of what I'm liking coffee is, I told you I'm putting the cinnamon in it. Now, I learned a lesson about cinnamon yesterday. Kind of funny. And then, I don't know why, I, I, I do like to put, um, so I'll take my spoon and just grab a little bit of coconut oil and I'll put that in it. Um, it just gives it enough coconutty flavor and it's almost like, you know, the oil. It's just enough. I like it. Can I have it without the coconut oil? Absolutely. Um, but here's the thing about cinnamon is, you know, you stir it up and it gets all dissolved, right? But like, <laughs> yesterday I had a call at four o'clock. I actually had a call at 3.30 and four o'clock and I had my leftover coffee, okay? So yes, it was, um, it was cold leftover coffee from earlier, but never had a problem like, even when I was having the coffee with cream and sugar in it, if it's just sitting on my desk later, I'll take a sip of it. It still tastes just as good. Which is funny because I would look at somebody 
who heats up their coffee later in the day and go, ew, that's disgusting, heated up coffee? But I would have no problem, like, you know, if I had my cup of coffee that I made at 8 in the morning, still drinking it at 2. Kind of weird, isn't it? But then again, I have lots of issues like that. But here's the thing, so I had my coffee left over, and I had, I'd gotten back from my lunch meeting, and then I had these calls, and I'm sipping on my coffee. Well, I think the thing with cinnamon is, I don't know if maybe all of it doesn't dissolve or whatever, but there was some st sitting on the top. So I'm having this conversation, and I can feel that I got like raw cinnamon caught in my throat. And it was really awkward because I felt what was happening with my throat, and I had no, nothing left in the cup. So I can feel like dry cinnamon, and that my throat was drying out. I was like, <laughs> so here I am on a conference call with three other people, and I'm like, um, I am losing my ability to speak, so I need to go get some water. When you're in a conference call and people are listening to you talk, it, it might sound like it's no big deal to say, excuse me while I get a drink of water. But, you know, if you drink the water while you're on the phone, everybody can hear it. It was awkward. So I have to remember to stir this up and not be having the, um, you know, if you see like the cinnamon floating on the top, be careful, because if you drink that, it's gonna get caught in your throat and make you choke. So, there's that little tip of the day. See, I've just made your entire day watching this ramble on a thon worth it, because now you have a valuable tip. But I will tell you, the coffee's growing on me, and here's how I know. And then, look how cute my cup is from Park City. I will tell you guys, Park City and, what is it, Park City and um, Lake Tahoe. Gosh, two of my favorite places in the country, which is the polar opposite of my major favorite, which is um, Miami. Miami is, you know, sun and beach, and that's like mountains and whatever. I, ideally, you know what my dream is, is to have a place in Miami and a place in Lake Tahoe. Mm. That's gonna happen. But anyway, last night I had uh, my some of my family members over for dinner. So it's my first uh, dinner, not really a dinner party, if you will. We had brats because I was craving, sorry, I thought a bird was in my house. I was craving brats and where was I? I was at some event recently. Oh, I think it was at my friend's party. And she had a cookout and I remember going to the grill and they were cooking brats and I hadn't had brats in so long and I was like, Dang, that looks good. And then she brought all the food in. This is exactly what happened. She brought all the food in and she's like, go ahead, everybody eat. And so I waited, of course. And then by the time I got to the table, the only thing left was hamburgers. And I'm like, bitches. Like they took all the brats. And then I felt like a jerk. She goes, well, we can put some more on the grill. I'm thinking, right. Like I'm gonna stand around because I'm the only one that didn't get a brat. So of course I didn't have one, but I've been fantasizing about having them ever since. And um, so I saw this recipe on Pinterest that was for slow cooker brats. And um, it was in apple juice, but I can't lie. We just put it in beer. Um, but you'd make it with sweet onions and it was delicioso. But um, here's the thing. Two things, one good and one bad that came out of that. So I decided that yesterday, because I had a meeting at a sushi restaurant, um, yesterday was gonna be a, you know, a cheat, cheat day, if you will, where I was gonna let myself have things that aren't paleo, right? So I knew that when I would go have sushi that I would have at least part of one roll with rice. Is that a frog? Sorry. I thought I saw something crawling up and down the wall outside. Um, so I had primarily sashimi with seaweed salad and then I ordered one roll, my favorite roll there, and I probably had five pieces of the roll with the rice. But that's it. I didn't use yesterday's lunch as an opportunity to go balls to the wall and order three rolls and pig out. It was like, no, I'm gonna have a little of what I want. There's no need to like go overboard. There's no need to look at this like I did in the past, which is like, oh, it's a cheat day. It's time to be act like I'm in Las Vegas and eat an entire buffet and think, I've gotta squeeze all this in in like three days, as much, you know, bad eating and drinking as I can. Calm down, you're gonna have many times to eat what you want, it's not that big of a deal. So that's what I had for lunch, and then um, with green tea, and it was delicious. No big stomach ache or anything like that. And then when I made the broths, um, I got hot dog buns, mostly for the kids, because they were gonna have regular hot dogs. Um, 
But then what happened is my sister and I took one brat, we put it on a um, bun and we cut it in half. So we each had half of a brat and then I think I, yeah, then I took another one out without the bun and had like three fourths of that, she had the rest of it. Um, we had Caesar salad. She's showing me how to make her Caesar salad dress, uh, dressing recipe, which is very, very good. She makes it without eggs, um, but it's really good. Um, so I had Caesar salad and then my mother. I told my mom to bring dessert for the kids because, you know, I didn't want to go buy stuff and have it for here that would be sitting here later going, eat me, eat me. So she brought over brownies and then my sister's like, try not to cheat today. And I'm like, if I'm cheating, you're cheating. So we split a brownie. Um, and I know that might sound dorky to you, but it was, it was more like she really didn't feel like having her cheat day today. She tends to have her cheat days on the weekends. And I was like, you know, sometimes it's not cool when <laughs> everybody's watching what we're eating and I'm the only one that was having my cheat moment. Because we also had some, um, some bubbly to celebrate the fact that yesterday, excuse me, the day before yesterday, was my one year anniversary of quitting my job. Holla. Um, so anyway, we were celebrating that, we were celebrating their anniversary, whatever. But I'm, I guess all that to say, and then I'm getting back to the coffee point, believe it or not. After 11 minutes, um, I, I felt fine having that. Like, yeah, I had the brownie and I was like, oh damn, you know, I could have seven more of those. But I don't need it because I just feel so good. I feel so good about how I'm looking um, every day. Why would I wanna, like, why do I wanna sit and, and have five brownies? What's the point? Um, I just, I'm getting, you know, your mindset's changing. Somebody asked me about that. They said, how do you, how do you get to the point where you're, you're doing paleo or you're doing whatever you're doing and you're not, and I just, I do, I have a different mindset now. I certainly wanted to have this mindset before where I could look at things and not be so tempted or so obsessed with what I wasn't eating, um, but I'm just not. Um, and here's the other thing about the coffee. Last night after everybody left and I cleaned up, I kid you not, um, I was getting ready to sit down and like watch some television. Why did I say television and not TV? Anyway, I was getting ready to sit down and all I thought was like, gosh, some black coffee sounds really good right now. Or maybe I didn't say black coffee in my head, but what I was thinking is like, I wanted a cup of this. So what does that tell you? You can change your taste, you can change what you're used to, you can change what you crave. I mean, a lot of you guys have been writing me and asking me, you know, how do you get away from craving bread? How do you get away from um, craving sweets or whatever? I, it's not really, I don't wanna say, you know, if you put stuff in front of me, if I'm in the grocery store and I walk by a thing of Krispy Kremes or if I walk by a thing of those sugar cookies, I look at it and I know it sounds good. I look at it and I'd love to buy it. You know, I'd love to buy a package of those sugar cookies and put them, you know, put half of them away that hour in the car on the way home. Um, don't say you haven't done it, please. But it's just that, like, I don't know, maybe you just get successful enough and you feel good enough about what you're doing that that it's, I think it's what it is, is it doesn't have as much of a pull on you um, as if you're not finding success, you're not proud of yourself, you're not uh, pleased with your results, you're kind of down, then you see temptation and you're like, well, screw it. You know, everything I'm doing, it doesn't matter. I'm not losing weight anyway, so it doesn't matter. Why even try? See what I'm saying? There's a, just a difference where right now I'm walking by going, screw that. I'm almost in my size eight jeans again. I'm, you know, I'm feeling great. I went down a size in my workout pants. Screw that, you know? It's just, it has less temptation for me. That's where I'm at. I never thought that I'd be able to say that. It's been years I haven't felt this way. Um, and I'm thankful and dang excited. So, that said, I could still learn at my new bird feeder. I just put it up last night, so whatever. Um, anyway, I have to go because it's Friday and even though I don't have meetings, I have eight zillion things I have to catch up on. Um, welcome to the world of a startup. It doesn't have, it has, needs a hundred people working for it and has five. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you guys have a good day. Mr. Flo.
Mr. Flo. Wow, do I need to go tanning? I'm actually not this pale. Maybe it's just the fact that I don't have lights on above right now. Um, but anyway, wow, it's still early. Um, I gotta go. You guys have a great rest of the day, and I will see you tomorrow.